It's happening, folks. Construction has begun on the mirrored linear city called The Line. The Line is the most interesting part of Saudi Arabia's ambitious new mega project, Neom City, and a video has popped up on social media showing several workers digging a wide trench in the desert of the northwest section of Saudi Arabia. Foundations will be built in the 109 mile long trench, and on this episode of Built a Billion, we'll get into what they're building right now and what it will take to complete the mega project. By the way, if you want to hear the latest on all the new mega projects and billion dollar constructions of the world, please hit that subscribe button to stay up to date. Hang with us and we'll show you all the dream projects that are being built, one billion at a time. When the Neom City was first proposed in 2017 by the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman, it garnered skepticism for its artificial intelligence maids and plans of flying taxis. Architects and economists all over the world questioned its possibility, and people said it'd basically never get built. But it's now underway. Take that, haters. For those of you who may not be familiar with the Line Project, the Line is the boldest work of architecture and construction presently. The structure will house 9 million people, be taller than the Empire State Building, and it will have a mirrored glass outside that will run on renewable energy with no cars or carbon emissions, making it a fully sustainable city. Furthermore, the line is designed as a series of unique communities organized in something coined zero gravity urbanism. This concept consists of three dimensions of movement, up, down, or across. The layers consist of a surface level pedestrian layer with parks and open space, a lower service layer, and an underground transport layer with an ultra high speed train that can go from the beginning of the line to the end in just 20 minutes. In addition, all daily services would be walkable within five minutes of each node in the line. Drone footage has captured hundreds of trucks and machines preparing the site for construction. The line will be 170 kilometers long, 500 meters high, and 200 meters wide, but the width of the trench doesn't match the initial measurements. The trench seen in the drone footage is way smaller than the 200 meter or 656 feet that it's supposed to be. After all, the trench has to be able to fit large sports complexes, waterfalls, parks, and residential commercial spaces. Because of this, the much smaller trench being dug is speculated to be prep for the underground high-speed transport system that was planned to be built for the city. This brings us to our first problem. A lot of experts think this is biting off more than the visionaries can chew. It's not clear if the technology for the transit line even exists yet. Traveling 100 miles in 30 minutes would require the train to go 318 miles per hour, which the fastest rail travel hasn't reached yet. The fastest in the world, which are in China, go only about 236 miles per hour. The Hyperloop technology being developed by Elon could theoretically do it, but achieving that is most likely a decade away, and I don't know if they have the next Elon on their team working behind the scenes. Now for some controversy. Neom will be built on land that is by the Red Sea and has been inhabited by a nomadic group called the Huaytat people for generations. There are certain farmers who have a right to this land and don't want to give it up. In the US, people who own desirable land are often paid millions to move even if they are forced off by eminent domain. But in Saudi Arabia, things are a tad different. One man who refused to give up his ancestral land was actually killed by the police, sparking human rights defenders to extend a rush of criticism. And since then, three more protesters were arrested and have been sentenced to death. Ironic that lives must be lost in order to try and create a utopia. Seems counterproductive, but I just work here. Another problem is the extreme heat of the desert climate. The mirrors on the outside will reflect the heat away from the line. Everyone inside will be as cool as a cucumber, but the enormity of the mirrors will pose serious consequences to everyone outside. The areas where the sun is reflected will double in heat and any objects nearby could melt. Not only this, but the size and length of the mirror line will displace many animals disrupt migratory birds, roots, and groundwater flow will be affected. And ironically, though it plans to run on completely renewable energy, the creation of the city would greatly harm the environment, 
producing 1.8 billion tons of carbon dioxide, which is equal to four years of the UK's entire emissions. This mega project is for sure breaking a few eggs to make an omelet. The line also has to do the impossible with money and science. Saudi Arabia generally has a tough time attracting financial resources and investments from foreign governments and countries. I mean, when your kingdom has a record of human rights violations, you kind of build a bad reputation. The initial plan was that it'd be finished by 2030 and cost $500 billion. But reports say it won't finish until 2050, which will increase the cost to $1 trillion. Also, by then, I'll be a senior citizen. The mega project is funded currently by the Public Investment Fund, which is the King's Sovereign Wealth Private Investment Fund. No one else except Russia has even entertained discussions and investment in the line. Aside from money, the line has to overcome technological challenges that haven't been achieved before. And Saudi Arabia can't do it alone. If they don't succeed, Neom will join the rest of the unfinished cities across the Gulf, like King Abdullah City, Blue City in Oman, and the World Islands, which have symbolically begun to sink back into the ocean. It's too early to tell if the city will become a reality, but if nothing else, it is a bold imagining of what future cities could be, and a nice blueprint for a time when this technology is possible. I actually hope it can be built without hurting the environment or the people in the area. Do you think this mega project will be built? Let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, click a video on the screen to watch something you haven't seen, and thanks for visiting Built a Billion.